Hello guys, welcome to Mod Cats again. Um, in today's... Hello guys, welcome to Mod Cats. And in today's video, I will show you guys how to get this very cool tone brown eyes with this pop-up blue color. It's from the Naked Cosmetics pigment that I got from my Ipsy bag. Uh, I told you guys that I wanted to try it out and test it. And so I am, and I'm pulling it off with a look that I actually like, not like the one I did for that video. But if you guys would like to know how to wear this look, then just keep on watching. Okay, so I already primed my lids with the Too Faced Worn This Way Concealer and I'm gonna set this with the Too Faced Chocolate Bar. I'm gonna set it with the shade White Chocolate and I forgot how much I love this palette. Like, I just forgot the quality, how good it was. This was my first palette ever and honestly, I regret not using it more often. Honestly, like, it's just so good. So I'm gonna make this look as I go. I have a vision, so let's hope that that vision comes through. So, okay, let's see, with a fluffy brush, I'm gonna take the shade Milk Chocolate, which I don't know, I don't know, wait. Okay, scratch that. I will go with the Morphe 35O palette, and I will go with the shade over here, and let that be our crease color, because I want this to be, um, Oh my god, I've never used this color. <laughs> this is all I'm gonna surprise. <laughs> I've never really used this color for crease or anything. I'm very, like, I'm a creature of habit, so I use the same matte colors constantly. So, let's see how that goes. And like I have contacts and I still feel like I don't see well like I can see so well that it's a little overwhelming and I feel like I can't see at all regardless it's weird okay that looks good gonna go in will it actually go in the freaking chocolate color palette I don't know what color follows this I'm such an indecisive bitch okay so I'll go with this with this shade from the Morphe palette. And yeah, let's put that in the crease. My vision, I haven't said it, but probably you'll see it from the intro. My vision is a cool tone eye with a pop of blue. I have it there. I don't know if I'll accomplish it, but we'll see how that goes. I don't know why, but ever since like I started this channel, like my blending skills just drop down. I don't know if it's because I'm nervous or what, but it sucks. It's like, why do you do this to me? I'm trying to showcase my talent. I just go for the fucking patchiest eyeshadows ever. Okay, wasn't so bad on this eye. I don't know why it didn't go well on this eye. Okay, so since that turned out well, okay, I'm not switching palettes apparently. I'm so indecisive, like we spoke about last video. <laughs> I am going to go with this shade here and deepen that crease a little. What I like about this palette, <laughs> not that I just judged it. It's not super pigmented, so like if you do something wrong, you can blend it away pretty quickly, which I really like because I just saved my look because of that. So it's a really good beginner's palette, especially if you like um, fall tones. So see how I am putting it like on the sides on each corner but I'm not putting it in the middle because the blue is going to go there. So I'm just trying to deepen that and on the crease too. <laughs> it 
for you look that I do just looks so scary in the beginning. Please trust me. <laughs> oh dear. Let's blend this out. These are the moments where I don't know why people convince me to start this channel. Let's also hope that I put the blue in the middle because I tend to put them in different places. So it looks really crazy, but dark in here and here and on the outer corners. So let's go in a little deeper and finally <laughs> use the Too Faced palette, which I never did. And really darken those outer and inner corners with the shade Triple, Triple Crunch. I have contacts, but I'm still blind. Looks a little crazy, but I have to bring it upwards so that people can see it with my eyes closed. I know that I say this on every single video, but I have to clarify why I'm doing this in the crazy way that it looks right now. Okay, that looks sorta even. Okay, so let's blend it away. I'm gonna use this Morphe 441, which I think it was one of the ones I used to blend things out, so, okay. No, I'm gonna use another one, uh, the smaller one, cause I don't wanna bring this all over my eye, so let's see how this goes. Okay, so I'm gonna take this Real Techniques, took the MAC one off because it was a little dirty and I was like, no, I'm not about to fuck this look up for a dirty brush and for being a lazy piece of shit. The, so that they can work out and it takes a lot of patience a lot of time like usually with this kind of looks to deepen that um, color like to make it look really well blended it takes a lot of time it's not like 10 minutes like the video it takes a lot of time okay so I'm gonna take the original brush and I'm gonna go in back in the crease shape that we took. It sucks that these palettes don't have names, but the initial crease color, this one. So I'm gonna go in there, blend shit up here. Okay, so I've uh, deepened everything out. We're gonna take out the star of the show. But, I mean, it wasn't the first time, so why would it be now? Let's cover that with Fix Plus. Okay, so I'm gonna bake this in Fix Plus, and I'm gonna take a little of that and let the magic begin. Oh yes. Oh yes. Oh fuck. Yeah, it's having an auto fall out now. That's intense. Yeah, yeah, that's having a camp. <laughs> but it's okay. I only have a white shirt. <laughs> oh my god, you guys, I cannot grasp. Like, you guys cannot understand how good this looks. Like, how pigmented this is. Like, the camera does not do any justice to this. Let's deepen those. Let me deepen those eyes again because it looks kind of crazy right now.
Okay, so I look crazy, but I will take this fallout off. I already have some Maracuja oil and some MAC Fix Plus, but I'll wipe this off, I'll do my face, and then I'll go back again in the eyes so that we can finish this marvelous, promising look. Okay guys, so this is the whole face. We're back in the eyes and salvage this look. I'm really feeling like trying my cat eye again. I'm just afraid it will ruin the whole thing and I've spent like, what, 40 minutes doing this whole thing? Like, no, and like an hour? <laughs> I spent just 20, okay, I spent like 20 minutes, 30, 20 minutes with my face, but like I spent like 40 minutes with these eyes, so <sighs> I don't want to ruin it. <sighs> but let, let's do the under eyes first. Let's smoke this shit out. Um, I will go in with this buffy pencil brush and I'll go back into that Morphe palette and go into the base shade which I love by the way I love how I just start like shitting on whatever I'm using and then just loving it I'm gonna go in with a base shadow and I'm gonna put this like very low on the lower lash line let's see oh my god I'm in such a mess stubbing my nail in there but whatever um yeah so let's go in really low I'm just gonna go in with the chocolate bar with the darkest shade triple fudge and I'm just gonna run that a little like at the fuck. Not the right brush. <laughs> I just do this to myself like all the freaking time. I'm gonna rock this. It's okay if it's pigmented, I just want it to be really close to the lash line. It looks kinda crazy, like everything at the beginning that I do. But it's gonna turn out good, I can feel it. <sighs> I'll do the I'll do I'll do the the cut eye. I will. I am determined to learn. I'm doing I'm doing the I'm doing the cat eye. I'm gonna use I'm gonna use the Stay All Day Waterproof Liquid Liner. I'll be right back in like 20 minutes. <laughs> if you ever feel like believing in yourself and think that you can do a cat eye right before you're about to leave the house, don't, don't do that. Don't, don't ever, no. I attempted to do my beautiful cat eyes and it ended up being sh so whenever you're in a hurry don't do that like you practice your cat eyes when you have nothing else in your face when you have nothing else to do and you just want to practice your cat eyes i'm just fucking retarded <laughs> but anyways i went ahead and put some bomb cosmetics highlight this one yeah i put that on the inner corner on the brow bone and on my face i'm gonna go ahead and do my lips i'm gonna use this shade tansy from ColourPop. Okay guys, so this is the finished look. I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and really like this look. I think it's really great for the winter. Maybe if you have something that's not a pigment, but rather an eyeshadow. I really wanted to try this Naked Cosmetics pigment with an actual look because I know that the one I did on MC was like disastrous. So I'm really pleased. I am really going to put the mirror so that I can see myself. Okay. I'm really pleased with the way this look turned out to be. I think it's very wintry. I think it's very glam and it just goes in with the, the lip just rolls in with the eyeshadow. I think it's very monochromatic and I like that the blue pops and I love how it looks on dark eyes. Just the color makes it pop a little more. So if you guys enjoyed this video and love this look just as much as I did, like, subscribe, and comment down below. First, your recommendations of blue eyeshadows because I have no idea like where to go and if I start buying like a bunch of blue eyeshadows, I will be broke. But yeah, comment down below your suggestions for blue eyeshadows and also if you'd love for me to try any other palettes or any other wintry looks, cool tones like this, which I never really do, it's weird because I never wear cool tones, but it's kind of cold in Miami, so I was like, oh, let me try something new, something different. So if you like it, please like, subscribe, comment, and I'll see you in the next one.